Well, no time like the present. I see I'm clipping the mic. I will turn myself down ever so slightly, and I will say hello, everybody. It's the Nerve Stream. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. And we are finishing up what we couldn't finish on Sunday. That's right. We're saying goodbye to Root Letter. We're saying goodbye to Matsue. We're saying goodbye to Buns, Four Eyes, Monkey. Uh, I probably shouldn't say any more, um, just in case I get to the end of this arc and it just unlocks a whole bunch more uh, stuff for us to get through. If that happened, honestly, I don't know what I would do. Would I continue? Well, I'm kind of an idiot. So, maybe. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, I am out of the shower. Hello, Geds. How you doing? Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. That's not a time to be happy, but you get the idea. Okay. I, I, I am I'm clean. I've got some water. I'm, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to end. I'm not, I'm not ready to, to click the right button, apparently. How am I? I am, all things considered, I have no complaints. I am off work early this week. I have a four-day week, so I've only got two more days left, and I couldn't be happier about it. Not for any special occasion, but just because I had some days to use up. And uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll even do something fun with my time off. Who knows? We've got a government arc answer arc to get through. A government arc, a government route. This was the UFO plot uh, for this terrible, terrible adventure game. Which uh, ended with us in an insane asylum because our girlfriend, Pen Pal, was actually an alien. Hello, Struggle Ruffian. How you doing, my friend? With your newly, newly shaven head. Unbelievable. It's caused quite a stir in our household. <laughs> a staticky voice crackles into life. Uh-oh. Now, I forgot exactly what the uh, particulars were of the UFO arc. I know that the guy who runs the, um, who runs the Japanese restaurant uh, was part of the conspiracy. Uh, but I can't remember what Mr. Fumino's, Dr. Professor Fumino's role was. <gasps> oh my god, he's betraying the conspiracy. <laughs> For those of you just joining us for the very first time to see this game, um, I don't even know where to begin. It will come back. It will come back, which is more that can be said for my hair. <laughs> Several more men. Come out from the shadows, pointing guns at the professor. Take him away, toys. Uh, Struggle Ruffian has um, given a very concise. <laughs> Very concise review of the plot. Buns is a prick who turned up into town. Uh, let me add, he's an incel who uh, found a letter from his 15-year-old uh, pen pal 15 years prior when, when he was 15. No, I think they were both 17, actually. He's, he's, he wasn't communicating with a pen pal as a, as a grown man. But they were both teenagers, and 15 years later, he's like, huh, you know what? I'm gonna go see that girl. Uh, and then he goes into town, and he's cruel to everybody around him. Uh, and you show off the sights and sounds of Matsue City, and they say, hey, why don't you check out this restaurant in real life? You should come here, because we're the tourism board. Uh, and, yeah, then your girlfriend turns out to be an alien, and you go to prison. Or the uh, institution, rather. At least that's what happened in this arc. The doctor stares at the monitor. <laughs> We've got uh, the UFO Institute's own Virgil, Virgil, Texas here. The doctor changed the display on the monitor. It now shows Max. Max. 
<laughs> the power to be a complete asshole. That's us. We're Max, because we do everything to the max. Uh, the doctor stares up at the ceiling. Are we going to turn out to be an alien in this ending? Because that'd be a really great note to end this on. Doc, who's going to do this if we don't? I would say this is that's almost redeemable if it wasn't for the gangbang child arc the last time we played if that wasn't in here this would kind of redeem the whole experience hmm where am I I have no recollection of this place at all I know I got caught up in all that UFO stuff so what am I doing here? Uh, a futuristic looking door opens, as if on its own. It was disgusting, Struggle Ruffian. It was way too much and completely at odds with the rest of this game. Um, for those of you just joining us, uh, we, we last played on Sunday, uh, and we were cleaning up the, uh, the final answer arcs, which are these little bonus scenarios that this version of the game added. And one of them was like, well, what if... Uh, what if this girl was being... What if this guy molested his daughter until she died and then found a new girl to adopt and molest and then all of her friends started molesting her too? Um, and, like, this is a pretty lighthearted and stupid game. Um, so to have that just... Uh, surprise! Child molestation was really... Oh, no. Uh, the door just opened. But enough about that. Let's get back to the UFO stuff. It's like it's telling me to go through it. I've been shut up for long enough. What could be scarier than aliens anyway? Even if the path ahead takes me to my execution, I have no choice but to walk down it. Very dramatic. Man, this is something else. It's like I'm in a secret base from some sci-fi movie. How do we get out of the, uh, the asylum? Uh, somewhere along the gloomy corridor is a bright light. I start walking towards it. This feels weird. As I'm walking along, I'm overcome by the sensation that I actually know this place. It can't be. Pain flashes through my brain like a bolt of lightning. What? What was that? Though I clutch my head in agony, I don't stop walking. Eventually, I make it to the large door that's the source of the light. Fingerprint recognition? What am I meant to do now? I mean, touching it's not gonna... There's a beeping, and the door opens. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the heck is this? <laughs> All right, now we're getting somewhere. There's a giant robot in front of me. Is he our Gendo? Are we his Shinji? Do I... Know that voice? Do I know this robot? I... I remember. A spotlight suddenly falls on me at full blast. It matches a scene in my memories perfectly. That's right. It's the light of the UFO. This game is so stupid. Right. You're the doc. And this thing, this robot, is... I'll use max mode to drag out my memories. We need to do this one. Just me and my robot friend. Is it gonna be the G gear? G gear. It is. But at that instant, I feel like my monochrome world has suddenly been filled with color. G gear. Its name, humanity's will. Its existence, a symbol 
of hope. <gasps> the rush of memories pouring back into my head causes my brain to short circuit. This is amazing. Uh, my consciousness quickly fades away. I, I, uh... Just before my mind completely goes blank, I see a face. It's a face I shouldn't know. The smiling face of my pen pal. Fifteen years ago, we were only high school students when we saw the UFO crash land on Earth. The hell is this? Out of curiosity, we approached the wreckage. By chance, we came in co into contact with alien blood. And that would change the course of our lives. <laughs> By coming into contact with that alien blood, we were granted mysterious powers. <laughs> so he was secretly their friend all along and they erased his memory? Oh my god. <laughs> the Doc, a genius scientist who developed the G-Gears. <laughs> Out of all the adults who knew the truth, there was only one who we could count as a friend. In truth, this man was like a father to us. And then, there was Aya Fumino. She was no pen pal. She was my one true partner. And the girl I loved. <laughs> Is this just Eva now? Is she inside the robot? Yeah, I remember now. He's right. The memories I've regained don't explain everything. For one thing, I, uh, she died. She, I, she better be the robot. Just go all the way in. That's right. She died in the fighting. She died right in my arms. All right, this is our canon ending. I'm, I'm calling it now. Uh, unless it takes a really nasty turn at the end. And um, ends with some kind of sexual abuse. Then this is our canon ending. Uh, the incessant alarms inform me that my mech has reached its limits. In fact, it's already surpassed them. We're somehow managing to run on willpower alone. Shit. Why isn't this working? Why won't the G-Gear do it? Max. I need more energy. If I just had the energy for one more shot, that's it. Sorry, guys, but if I don't do something, we're all dead. <laughs> Sorry for making you do this with me. The only thing that's going to take that monster down is a full-powered strike. <laughs> we don't even get to see a monster. It's so cool. <laughs> take this! <laughs> um, I'm out on the town having the time of my life. Um, all the other kaijus are off-screen screaming, too. The light emitting from the monster envelops us. I, uh, I love... All I can feel is someone's warmth embracing me as my words are swallowed up by the light. Aya, no! I see. So... My recklessness killed her. Right. We carried out our duties. We even saved the world. But all of that was secondary. But... But I wanted her to live. I wanted us to be together. 
Calm your heart, Max. He places a warm, caring hand on my back. <laughs> Fifteen years worth of missing emotions come crashing into me. The truth hurts like nothing else. Oh my, we really picked the best note to go out on. I'm so happy with this. Uh, the following day, the pilots are assembled in the hangar. All of my classmates stand alongside me. There's Four Eyes, Monkey, Fatty, Bitch, Snappy, Shorty, Bestie, and Shiori. Can't believe Shiori was Aya's clone all along. Yes, the girl pretending to be Aya was Shiori Yoshioka. She was a clone of Aya's, and the doctor had taken her as his granddaughter. <gasps> so what's going on with the... Uh... <laughs> Home to the Lafcadio Harm Museum and a secret mech base. So what's going on with Pro Professor Fumino betraying them? I, we'll see, I guess. No point in speculating about this insane plot. Aya! Max mode's boosted up all by itself. Oh my god, it is a superpower. Ah! <laughs> Screaming in her face. Aya, you're tearing me apart. <laughs> what do we have here? Do you remember me? Aya. All right, it's our third one then. How can you be alive? <laughs> she was calling us back to do our duty for the human race. What? Now that I have my memories back, it makes sense. By the time I started writing those letters, Aya was already dead. But even still, those letters that were like, Hey, do you like aliens? I like girls with big tits. What are your measurements? How about those aliens, huh? She's like, it's him. We need to get him back. <laughs> they look more or less identical. Shiori's face resembles Aya's so much. I'm convinced they're one and the same. So I guess she's probably not going to be the pilot piloting system of our mech, but this is good too. A clone? That's ridiculous. How am I supposed to believe that? Huh? Yes. That's right. Aya wasn't there when we found the UFO. But then, why was she on board the G-Gear with me? I'll take her being another Ray, yeah. It's all connected somehow. It must be. The fourth child. <laughs> That guy does not look old enough to be a grandpa. He's like, oh, it's my it's my teenage granddaughter. That's something to be worried about. I thought I thought that it would be Professor Fumino who'd taken her as a granddaughter, but never mind. Your surname's Yoshioka, huh, Doc? <laughs> This is really good. <laughs> so what's Fumino doing? Shiori nods. Why doesn't she speak? 
クミノの小僧に研究材料として扱われてな。体中をいじくり回された。Okay, I'm going to choose to believe that that doesn't have the same implications as the last ending that we got. That damn bastard. Even still. Guess so. I still haven't come to terms with how I lost Aya. Her smile, her voice, her warmth, everything. Shiori sadly cast her eyes to the floor. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he made her play visual novels. So that's why you called me here and dragged up all these horrible memories? You're barely better than Professor Fumino, Doc. <laughs> Get in the G gear, buns. <laughs> From what I understand, that does happen. If you play visual novels for too much, you will lose the power of speech. You spineless coward. How can you use Aya as a bargaining chip? That's emotional blackmail. But Shiori isn't Aya. I don't know. I just don't know. This is all so sudden, I can't wrap my head around it. I can, and I love it. Let me think it over. I need to talk with the others. I need to ask you all, are you prepared to go to battle again? <laughs> we don't often get the uh, 30, 32 to 34 year old giant robot pilots. So, um... <laughs> I'm into it. Uh, there's no answer, but of course not. It's been 15 years since then. We're not the same naive children we once were. Honestly, I'm still not sure whether or not we should do this. Part of me thinks we've had enough of the pain and suffering. <laughs> In his school uniform. <laughs> but that does nothing to change the outcome. We're the only ones who can do this. If we run, then we'll end up dead anyway. So, I'm going to pilot the G-Gear again. This time, I won't let anyone die. <laughs> Come to beautiful Shimane Prefecture and be protected by our Max. We've got a pastry chef. We've got a uh, bartender. Uh, we've got a, uh, a little civil servant with a uh, cat tie and some funny glasses. Um, and they are all uh, expert combatants against the alien existential threat. Are you guys sure about this? <laughs> Max is getting roasted. <laughs> It would be good. Oh my god. Like, it's actually a really cool idea. Like, I know that this is meant to be silly, but like, if there was uh, a series about like um, uh, a, a bunch of people who were like child soldiers, child soldier mech pilots who have to come back and do it again in their mid 30s, maybe that's just me speaking, <laughs> being a depressed mid 30s man who's done nothing with his life. <laughs> but um, that would be a very appealing series to me. Probably not to the target audience of um, of, uh, of 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 mech of mech show uh, uh, mech show fans. <laughs> Minimum wage workers in their thirties in a seaside town. <laughs> yes, the Viagra factory closed down. They're just working at the uh, at the saltwater taffy stand. Thank you guys. We're gonna protect Shimane. No. Protect the world. Oh! 
Our once broken bonds have been reforged. We're more ready than we've ever been. This is the place. Shirei and I have arrived at the location the doctor told me about. <laughs> we used to make shit in this town. Now we fight kaiju and mechs. <laughs> Getting sanctioned because you couldn't make it to your job center uh, signing on appointment because you were saving the town in a mech. <laughs> Shiri lays down some flowers and I follow suit. You know, back then I never really cared about world peace or anything. Giant robots fighting monsters sent to destroy Earth by aliens. It was like something out of a TV show. I just went at everything with all I had. It was hectic, but it was fun. I guess you could say I played around too much in the end. I feel a warmth on my back. It feels just like it did back then. She really is just like you, I uh, Settle down there. She is 17, isn't she? But then reality hit me. I ended up losing someone special to me. Unfair, don't you think? I feel a squeeze, and then a stream of cold down my back. Shiori. Shiori's crying. <laughs> what? Cold tears? Jesus. Uh, I guess she is an alien. Uh, Shiori's crying. Crying at my, like my pathetic attempt at repentance was meant for her, herself. <laughs> Welcome, Festy. Um, you have come at just the right time. Uh, it is, it's Sunday on Tuesday. It's like Christmas in July. I promise you, Aya. It's time for max mode. Yes. 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 <laughs> She's like, oh no, don't say that. Omaiga <laughs> Sunday was really bad, but this is this is really good. <laughs> we have found the canon ending, yes. A single heartfelt tear rolls down my cheek. And that's enough of standing around crying. I pull Shiori into an embrace, and she gently holds me in return. You protected this place, and now it's time for me and Shiori to do the same. That's the emergency alarm. Giant energy reading sighted off the coast of Shimane. Abnormality detected in the warp gate. Can't even give us a moment, huh? Let's go, Shiori. This time we'll finish things for good. <laughs> Call sign bitch. Reporting for duty, sir. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Do you even need to ask, Doc? And Struggle Ruffian, w what a great reveal it would be, right? Like, the first seven episodes would be him, like, trying to track down his pen pal and um, just getting into mundane situations um, and harassing them. And then for, like, the last, uh, like, 20 episodes is uh, the... Uh, <laughs> the big battle. <laughs> That'd be so good. Do you even need to ask, Doc? Would you mind if I said a few words? There's a sequel, Root Film. We're gonna play it, uh, maybe this winter. We've all aged considerably since then. We've learned a lot, and we all have our own takes on life. We know that sometimes it could be scary to move forward. I feel like Joe Biden reciting this. But we mustn't let that stop us from doing so. We can stand a while and think. We can search for a different path. But we must never remain stationary. This is this is the post game, so uh, it's it's in max mode uh, because it's um, uh, it's independent to your save file. So max is buns. 
So, let us keep pushing forward and let us open a path for all of our futures. Oh. And lastly, let's make sure we all make it back. <laughs> yes. Or a civil servant or a, um, a news reporter. The pilots, the engineers, every last person in the room cries out for the future of humanity. Soon, the fate of the world will be decided. The battle to live to see tomorrow has begun. We're at an overwhelming disadvantage right from the get-go. <laughs> it's uh, 13 Sentinels now. Four Eyes, bitch! Shit. Have all our allies, go allies gone down? Shiori, change sensor range to directly around the mech. Shiori takes on the support role with skills indistinguishable from Aya's. However... <laughs> in, his gym, in his gym teacher outfit as well. The galactic creature seems to have been amassing energy for the whole 15 years it's been sealed away. It's at least double the size it was back then. It was spared no expense. <laughs> just like Evangelion. No, it was really good. Uh, Evangelion was really good. It was just, um, I know a lot of people don't like those final few episodes and complain that there's not enough action. I think they're really good anyway. Because um, you don't need action all the damn time. Uh, but this is, <laughs> this is like a, uh, this is basically a joke, and so I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with them not having any money to show a monster. Uh, deviated so hard from the Matsue tourist game that you've got Whiplash. Indeed. We managed to inflict damage, but not <laughs> the bartender, but not lend any decisive blows. The mechs piloted by Four Eyes, Monkey, Bestie, and Bitch have all been driven off the battlefield already. <laughs> it's our time to shine. I start op operating the limiter, on, the limiter on the generator of my mech as I dodge the beams of light coming from the creature's mouth. We're going to gather all our energy into my mech, right? Is that the plan? Fighting in the rear, Type B is for bottom. Fatty sends over a code. I've never seen it before. We... We didn't have this back then. Max. Max. Right, because I always give it my all. But when I'm really serious, I give it my max. I can hear both Aya and Shiori. For a moment, they overlapped and allowed me to calm myself. I don't know what you're talking about. This is amazing. <laughs> this is the, the first good thing that's happened. Time to strike the finishing blow with max mode. There they all are. <laughs> this guy is having a lot of fun in the recording booth. The alarms start blaring again, only this time it's different. All the energy accumulates into my mech, allowing me to shoot out the strongest blast imaginable. Aya and Shiori have placed their hopes in me. This time I'll protect everyone and everything. I push the G-Gear to its maximum potential. No kaiju can stand up to max. This is the end! The light surrounding me is one of hope the one that has defeated this beast. <laughs> we did it! Shiori, we did it! We truly blasted off. You gotta close the gate, Max. We learned that from Sid of Alice. You always gotta keep the gate closed. What? UFO! But that's impossible! The dead kaiju's body is bathed by the light of the UFO and disappears. Ah! Oh! Wow! Very appropriate sound effect. Thank you, Geds. 
There's our Gendo. Professor Fumino. Now, are we gonna fight in, um... Are we gonna fight in the pastry chef's kitchen? Like the end of the new Eva? I hope so. Something begins assembling itself below the UFO. It takes on an ominous, yet familiar form. It's one of the mechs that were designed to save the world! What? What is that G-Gear? The ultimate symbol of despair descends down before us. <laughs> this is actually kind of long compared to the last couple as well. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, Festy, I'm afraid you might have. Uh, they were attacking us. There was never any chance of cooperation. I raised the G-Gear's weapon and fire, but he just shrugs it off as if it were nothing. What you got in that stir-fry tonight, Festy? The foe raises a, mon a sword made of monster skin. It's a bad dragon. I'm not sure what I can possibly add to this. <laughs> this was uh, just for us, I think. Shut the fuck up! What part of cooperating with aliens that attacked us is right? <laughs> Mushroom sausage and chili, nice. Justina made a really nice, um, uh, kind of like a dissembled, dissembled Japanese uh, uh, vegan croquettes uh, tonight. Last night I made a mushroom lentil bolognese that was really good. But we got the tonkatsu sauce with the, with the little bulldog, angry little bulldog face and everything. Oh, he, um, he welcomes our alien overlords. You think this will save Aya? That it will save your daughter? <laughs> he really is Gendo. <laughs> but mom, we have e <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> Mom, I want Eva. Oh, we have Eva at home. That's just what you think. You're wrong. People are strong when they all fight together. People... People aren't as weak as you think! You order we Eva from Wish? Yeah. You have no right to say that. <laughs> Did we talk about this at Adam Stag do? I think we might have. That's just what you think. There are people I want to protect. I want to protect the world as Aya once did. That's all the reason I need. <laughs> so what? Just who do you think I am? I'm Max. Max, goddammit! <gasps> Answer my call, G-Gear! Here we go. Uh, it's, um... <laughs> Not fitting within the text box. Here we go, G-Gear! Max mode! Bet my neighbors love me. It's a black box! It's Max... Fuck if I... Fuck if I know. I will protect the promise I made with... <laughs> terrible... Terrible grammar in that sentence. 
I will protect Shiori, and I will protect Shimane. The f shot from my G-Gear pierces straight through the engine at the G-Gear Zero. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a Gundam with a uh, sundial stuck on the front of it. Yeah, they've, they've finally brought us in. Come for the food. Stay for the uh, giant mech battles. <laughs> that gets a screenshot. And so, peace returned to Shimane. Nay, the world. However, we paid a high price for it. With all our memories restored, there wasn't much hope for our futures. Thus, I decided to remain in Shimane. As for Professor Fumino, look at their outfits and everything. You've got, um, uh, you've got, uh, uh you got Bitch in her, uh, house, her house coat. Um, Fatty in his pastry chef outfit. It's really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. And, uh, Four Eyes with those weird arm warmers that he has. Uh, as for Professor Fumino, I think he might have returned to his true self in the final moments. The explosion of the G-Gear Zero sealed the warp gate. They are, aren't they? It might be five, even ten years until it opens next. Or perhaps even longer. Either way, I'm sure they'll attack again. But we'll rise to the challenge as many times as it takes to protect Shimane. As long as I have these guys with me, nothing will stop us. My best friends and Shiori Yoshioka. Wow. Dreamy, wasn't it? Um, and there she goes again. <laughs> it's fading away. Uh, there's more. You know, I was joking earlier about um, we unlock that and they're going to unlock more. And they have unlocked more. Oh, it also seemed to have locked up for a second there, but no. Yes. There, um... There is more. Well, that was awesome. Uh, this is just... This is gonna be downhill. Alright. Every time I think I'm out! I'm not gonna speculate if this is the end or not. Just so I'm not disappointed. So this is... They call this the true ending, but we all know this is the fake ending. Uh, after uh, what we just experienced. Uh, half a year has already raced by since Shiori and I were reunited. I've moved into Matsue since then and set up a new designer's office. It's located close to the nursing home Shiori works at. So often when I'm busy, she'll come by to bring me food. At other times, I let her sleep here. <laughs> I let my girlfriend sleep in the office, under my desk. It's very cozy. She really likes that episode of Seinfeld where George does that at work. Uh, we're always looking out for each other. However, the two of us aren't a couple. We're not even in any kind of relationship. Naturally, I hope that what we have can progress into something more somehow and at some point but not knowing if Shiori feels the same as I do has left me unable to take that step forward but then one day something happened that would would that would be the spark that we needed to progress we received a wedding invitation from Misaki one of Shiori's former classmates now that I think about it Shiori seems strangely restless ever since she received hers I'm reminded of how heavily pregnant Bitch was with her second child during the wedding. Soon after that, I was taking the trash out when I happened to spot a wedding magazine that was being thrown away. What's this now? I certainly didn't buy it, so I assume Shiori must have bought it and read it, and she threw it out. Shiori must want to get married then, and if by any chance she's wanting to 
get married to me. And then, then I need to get moving. This is the perfect chance to move our relationship forward. I'm gonna marry Shiori. Deciding that is all well and good. But moving and setting up my new office costs a small fortune, so I'm pretty broke right now. Wouldn't that be a great ending? <laughs> <laughs> Are you giggling away? Yeah. Uh, definitely too far bro Definitely far too broke to afford a wedding. What should I do? I think it over for a while before deciding to send letters to all of Shiori's former classmates. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. Hey, I'm getting married to Shiori. Come to the wedding. And then you just tell her after uh, everybody arrives. I want a wedding. All right, we got to do some comedy options because these are good. <laughs> that doesn't really explain anything. <laughs> what am I, some kind of bank robber? <laughs> it must be this. <laughs> Having made my decision, I mail the letters off. It's the worst guy. After reading my letters, everyone agrees to meet me. It's the first time we met up in a while. You could have called them, dude. My proposal strategy meeting is about to start. I'm surprised they even came. Uh, okay, bitch didn't. <laughs> bitch just gave birth to her second child, so she's unable to join us in person. They would not be happy about this. Uh, I haven't even started. Don't even have a venue in mind. We're not even dating. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing I have decided. I think back to the day I was reunited with Shiori. Once a cosplay wedding. To the rain that fell when we met. The Enshi Enshizuku. Our destined meeting in the rain. I want to have a summer wedding in June. <laughs> it's probably like May right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna give up. I felt something special during the during the Enshizuku. Alright boys, we're gonna do a fingerprint search of wedding venues. Bestie and Four Eyes immediately take on monkey suggestion and get to work. <laughs> The girls are definitely here. Please take our word for it. While you're doing while you're doing that, Sh Shorty and I will think up a way to make money. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. Thing is, uh, with the move and setting up my office, I'm practically br practically broke. I flash him a peace sign in response. I can manage about 20,000 yen. Shorty's eyes open wide, lost for words. Twenty thousand. Yeah, twenty thousand is about two hundred pounds. <laughs> And he's suggesting about 14... 14,000. That's a whole lot of money! I give him a puppy dog look. I'm begging you, shorty. Oh, I didn't mean to... I wanted to do the, uh... We'll do the comedy one next. Um, Festy, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're just being an asshole to these people again. <laughs> 
Hey, shorty. Short in stature, short with your money. It's probably buddies, right? Nah. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what bartenders are well versed in uh, get rich quick schemes. That's why they tend bar. Shorty gives it some thought before coming up with a suggestion. We don't have the cool badge in this uh, in this ending. I already gave Bitch's signature to Morita, so no luck there. Uh, as for something limited edition, oh wait, maybe. Oh, I see. Okay, because we got all the endings, we get to do this now. We get to pretend that we have the badge still. I don't. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Uh, look at this. It's a Lake Shinji badge. The guy who gave it to me said it was a limited edition. How much do you think I can get for it? <laughs> you know about this fatty? <laughs> That's the badge that we got for um, eating all of the food at the restaurant on the stamp rally card. It, is it really that valuable? What would I do without the guys from Kamiarian? <laughs> nice job, monkey. The venue they located is pretty tiny in all honesty. However... Should be more than enough for our friends and family, I reckon. You, I haven't even been on a date with her, dude. Oh, Fatty, you are a true friend. Would you, Fatty? <laughs> yeah, if you stop calling me that. You too, Shorty? Thanks, dude. <laughs> it would be really funny if she said no. Thank you, Snappy. Preparations are coming along swiftly, with everyone coming together to make this special for Shuri and I. Thankfully, the expenses are going down, too. It might be out of character, but I'm so moved it's bringing a tear to my eye. <laughs> Shut up. A little while later, we start going over everything so far. <laughs> Under his uh, 200 pounds? Oh, man. As <laughs> oh, of course, he's got the badge. Uh, as long as I can sell that badge tomorrow. All that's left to do is... <laughs> Uh, a ring? No consent, you idiot. Important? Ah! I forgot the most important thing. There'll be no wedding without it. Everyone stares at me in exasperation as I cry out. The wedding ring. How did I manage to forget something so important? And moreover, how am I going to afford it? Consent's not even coming into it. Snappy and Bestie, almost unable to look at me, both hold out 20,000 yen. Holy moly. Everyone else takes this as a cue to also take 20,000 yen out of their wallets and hand it to me. <laughs> Think of it as a farewell gift. Now get out of town. Thank you, guys. Monkey claps me on the back as I burst out crying on the spot, unable to hold back my tears. Tomorrow I have to sell the badge, buy a ring, and propose to Shiori. Gonna be a busy day. Oh, hello, SK. We have a borscht fuss as well, so let me mute the game audio. And let's show off the big boy. How you doing tonight? Good to see you. And what a way to make an entrance that is definitely that's what we like to see around here so he looks a little sleepy right now but i bet he will be receptive to a nice a nice fuss uh uh oh 
well, that's interesting. Um, iTunes seems to have broken itself. So we got to get our MP3 the old-fashioned way. What on earth? That's shocking. Okay. All right. All right. You know, this would never happen. This would never have happened if I was just using Winamp. Okay. Borsh, you ready to get fussed? I think you are. Um, i got to put this volume down a little bit. Oh, it's so sleepy. Hey, little bud. How you doing? Let's get out of the way. We can see his little head. Hey, buddy. What are you doing today? I think he would like some freeze-dried chicken. I'm going to give him some in a minute. He's starting to purr. He's starting to purr. What are you going to do? Are you going to grab my face? Are you going to slap me? So we were out a little bit earlier today. Um, I saw a cat run by at full speed, so uh, I think he might have scared somebody away or something. But, uh, grabbing me. He's, he's grabbing my arm and he's squeezing it. <laughs> Give me a little blanket. Good boy, bud. Give you a little chin rub. Starting to, starting to wake up. Starting to wake up. Good old head shake, huh? a double hand on the old <laughs> You're too much, buddy. What was that? Oh, the cutest guy. Well, I think somebody's earned some freeze-dried chicken, so... No, don't jump down. Come on back. Come on back, bud. Right here. Hey, get back up. Can I have to pop your back up? There we go. Look, we got a show here. We got a show to do. <laughs> okay, alright. That'll do. Oh, God. He's bored. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's letting me know about it. He's definitely letting me know about it. Hang on. Hang on. All right? I know. All right. Yeah. All right, little buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. I thought I had four here, but there's three, so I gotta get you another one. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, it's a little premature. Okay. And you're gonna get one more, because you're such a good boy. Hang on, bud. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, you're unbel... Oh, God. Not... Look, it's here. There's a little bit more there. You've forgotten a bit. There you go. Good boy, bud. Good boy. That was a good fuss. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, Borscht. He's looking at me like, is that it? He just burped, too. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right. That's, uh, that's our borscht, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe he'll sit there for a while, because that's actually a pretty good, that's a pretty good position for him. Oh, it's behind my head. All right. So what if I moved here? And I, uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's better than root letter. Let's just stream this for a while, huh? No, I never have anything to talk about. I need to like come up with some topics for like a just chatting stream to just hang out with Borscht. So um, let's get back to our Vidya. Um, and I will unmute it. And... Okay, we're back on screen. 
We're back on screen and we're back on stream. Take it easy, SK, um, and uh, good luck with the video editing. I'd love to know more. Uh, the next day, I get to work, I get my work done as fast as possible and head out into Matsue. I meet up with Fatty in the shopping district. <laughs> on climate change, all right. I'll have to give that a, give that a peek when you're done with it. Got it. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Festy. Much appreciated. The store I'm in has a whole lot of rings for the, uh, from those that are horrendously expensive to ones of more moderate value. I go up to one of the attendants and tell him I'd like to look at rings within my budget. I check through all the rings that he shows me, but I'm unable to decide on the perfect one. In the midst of my hesitation, I glance outside and notice that it started to rain. And Shizuku. They look horrible. It's really like, uh... They all look like, um... Like the big purple one. From, uh... I almost said Coronation Street. Thank you for... <laughs> Quality Street. Look at them, Justina. They do look shit. They're awful. Quality. <laughs> it's costume jewelry. Uh, my eyes suddenly latch onto a ring located near the window. I want the big one. Uh, it captivates me, seemingly calling me towards it. This is it. It's gotta be. I immediately tell the attendant that I'll take it. They <laughs> do look like ring pops. <laughs> I get the money from Fatty and then get in contact with Shiori. Shiori? Uh, how's every little thing? Uh, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Could you let me know when you're done with work? <laughs> Should end with us just dating the the woman in red. What's going on in there? Sounds like Borsh is screaming up a storm. Okay. A few hours pass before she. <laughs> it's funny that they didn't get her voice actress to return. Uh, a few hours pass before she gets in contact with me again. It's just a ruse, and they're plotting to kill him. <laughs> I rush over to the nursing home where she's waiting for me. No, he doesn't at all. But we do. Sorry for making you wait. Think we could go for a walk? The two of us start strolling through the nursing home. She always seems different from usual. Perhaps she's realized that something's up, as she's following me in silence. We finally come to a halt at the place where we were reunited. It's time. Calm down, Max. Calm down. I take a deep breath to prepare myself. They are just walking through the nursing home itself. Yes. <laughs> I nervously begin my speech, still facing away from her. Uh, sorry for calling you all of a sudden. There's something really important I want to talk to you about. <laughs> just a non communal mm. Shuri nods, urging me to continue. It's been half a year since I moved to Shimane. It's gone by so fast. I set up my office, and I've been working myself to the bone ever since. I turn to face Shiori, staring into her eyes as I continue to speak. Things are going great, but this isn't something I could have achieved on my own. <laughs> you just scream max mode in her face. <laughs> I hope they let us do max mode with some really stupid answers. Uh, Shiori looks at me with upturned eyes, waiting for me to continue. She's not saying a damn word. Uh, I only made it this far because of all of your help. And I hope that... I hope you'll continue that in the future, too. I take a deep breath, then take the box with the ring in it out of my pocket. Shiori. Will you marry me? Hi. What? <laughs> Shiori's eyes fill with tears as she gives me a giant nod. And at that moment, rain starts to fall around us. The rain feels so gentle. As if it's giving us its blessing. <laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's the day of the wedding. Time has flown by in the blink of an eye since I proposed. I think back over everything that's happened. My mom sneakily gave me that letter, causing me to journey to Shimane. Then I met everyone and solved the mystery of the letters, and now... <laughs> they blew it! <laughs> I never could have imagined when I found my seal 
when I found that sealed letter that things would turn out this way. I really want some of their food, though. <laughs> Max Moat! As he uh, consummates the marriage. <laughs> Shimane really is the land of fateful meetings. I'm convinced. You just never know what life has in store for you. Life's like a pierogi. <laughs> Uh, I smile wryly, allowing myself to get sentimental as I think about the past. And at that moment, there's a knock at the door. You could at least wait for me to answer. We're just standing there hanging dong. I bought myself a cock ring. It's all I could afford after I paid for her wedding ring. Thanks, everyone. By the way, where's Snappy and Bestie? Uh, women. I see. Well, it'd be rude for us to barge in while they're having their girl time. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, the tension begins to set in as the time of the wedding draws nearer and nearer. <laughs> it's a selection of cock rings. He slips one on her finger. It's like, it's the same thing. It's basically a lady penis. Uh... <laughs> the wedding cannot legally proceed. Oh, boy. Well, Festy, don't get any ideas. You're right, guys. I should be hyping myself up. This one. This one. <laughs> he knew, didn't he? He knew. He knew, struggle ruffian. I'm surprised he didn't glare at all of us. I'm <laughs> I'm Max. I am Max, goddammit. I give everyone my thanks and then head towards the hall. The place where Shiori is waiting. He, he fucking gave himself that nickname, didn't he? He's like, everybody calls me Max, but you know. You know, he's like, I call myself Max because I do everything to the max. It's kind of my flaw. I'm um, uh, steadfast, uh, but earnest. Wow, Festy. Wow. That's that sucks. That's learning the hard way. <laughs> I uh, I head towards the hall, the place where Shuri is waiting. Everyone gives the <laughs> wow. <laughs> she looks like Queen Elizabeth. Uh, everyone gives their blessings as I enter the hall, and I walk over to where Shuri and I will exchange our vows. Let's spend the rest of our lives together, Shiori. <laughs> <laughs> it just got that one sound clip. That's all they have left. And they're just going to repeat it when they can. And so, Shiori and I sealed our vows with a kiss. Our vows to love each other forevermore. We get the ending song again. Oh, with lyrics this time. I don't have to sing it this time. <laughs> yeah, the glasses are good. It's a root letter world. She's a root letter girl. Root canals and robots too. Shimane. With me and you. I'm actually thinking about getting the instrumental version and singing over it and then uploading it to YouTube saying it's the real thing. I just need to write some lyrics. Oh, 
Eat me. Eat me. <laughs> Just sing my truth. I'm really bad at improv. That's the thing with me. I feel like I'm getting married. Oops, I got my thumb in the shot. Hey, CD Breakfast, you're just in time. We got married. Don't unlock anything else. I'm gonna be really... Ma okay, it keeps going. Every day since Shiori and I got married has been hectic and fun. Honestly, I've never been happier. I managed to get a break from work and decided to write a letter to my mom. <laughs> Root letter two. Mom's, mom's lament. さん。久しぶり。しおりと結婚してから忙しい毎日が続いているけど、充実した生活を送っているよ。実は今日母さんに手紙を書いているのは報告したいことがあるからなんだ。聞いて驚けよ。Oh <笑> <laughs> Buns Jr. A beautiful baby girl. <laughs> Bunette. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I always do things to the max. <laughs> We're gonna name... We're gonna name her Bitch. <laughs> Are you Buns... No! You're a new, it's a new cast of characters in the sequel. Thank you for playing so much. I'll be waiting in Shimane. Yep, all the schoolgirls are waiting for us. <laughs> Buns... Maybe you are Buns Jr. Okay, we'll play as Buns Jr. We got the fucking... Did we get the platinum? I don't want to log in. It's too much. It's too much to think about. Wait, wait. Can we review it on the system? <laughs> the new caster mech pilots. Let's have a look here. <gasps> we don't have the platinum! What are we missing? What was that platinum? We've suffered so much. Wait! All that's left is the platinum, and it doesn't unlock. <laughs> Maybe it needs a minute. No, that's it. <laughs> you get all the trophies to get the platinum. And we got all the trophies, and we didn't get the platinum. <laughs> that is so... That is so this game. That is so perfect. I love that so much. Okay. I gotta take a quick break. Uh, and we will, uh, load things up. 